Hi, it's Lerald, and the Love is in the Air annual event, the Valentine's Day event, has been reworked this year, and I just want to run through the ways that it has been improved, because they're quite substantial. First off, if you log in in Valdrakan, as we normally do, you'll find that in this sort of staging area over here on the right-hand side of the main, whatever, the main strip of Valdrakan, there are two NPCs that'll give you a quest, one for Horde and one for Alliance. Aurora Vabsley for Horde and Gabo Blink Wink for Alliance. Okay. And their quest is just very simple. Take the portal behind them. And boy, that's got some nice, nice sparkly animations, some real great visuals there. So you take the, the portal to the Gala of Gifts and you are landed either outside of Orgrimmar or Iron Forge, I believe in a sort of staging area, I guess technically like uh, 50 feet above a staging area, where the new Valentine's Day, Love is in the Air, quests, and so on takes place. And what we have here really is we get a little breadcrumb that tells us to take a look around at all the new vendors and NPCs and kind of see all the stuff that there is to have, uh, toys to buy, stuff to do. And we get breadcrumb to, into a little quest line that you can do that culminates with doing the daily event, the Crown Chemical Company. This quest line starts with the quest, I Smell Trouble, and you help Odie and, what's this guy's name? Detective Snap Snagglebolt and his robot dog, Odie. You help them go around and figure out what's going on with the Crown Chemical Company, and for each step along the way, you get a handful of love tokens, which you can use to buy the various toys and mounts and so on from the event. I think this quest line, doing it the very first time, not knowing exactly where to go the whole way, took maybe 15 minutes in total, and it threw, I think, over 100 love tokens at me, so it was definitely a good use of time. If you're a collector and you want to get everything, you can come out and do this quest line on a bunch of alts and get a bunch of tokens to grab all the stuff from this vendor right here. Lithian Morning Spear, who sells a Heartseeker Moth, a new pet, looks pretty nice. The Heartseeker Mana Ray, that adds... Definitely something I'll be going after. Nice new mount and several new toys, including the Eyes For You Only, which allows you to tune out new non-party members and the Date Simulation Modulator. Boy, they had fun with this. That allows you to only see people who are in your party and raid and you're completely invisible to people outside your party and raid. Boy, that's, uh, I'd love to have a real world version of something like that. Alright, so now that I've gone around and done the take a look around quest where I take a look around and talk to everybody, I'm ready to pick up the two daily quests. And the first daily quest here is from Aurora. It's a gateway to scenic Feralos. It can be one of several different locations in the old world where you get sent out to do just some very simple, fun little quests, and then you get a handful of tokens. I think this is great. This is something that I think Blizzard has really needed to do in repurposing parts of the old world because there is all of this giant world of warcraft full of zones that are you know abandoned and empty and yeah why not give us something to do there even if it's just a little bit of running around and handing people kegs of wine for example it seems like the quest where you go through the portal and do something on the other side changes its location every day which is perfect for hitting all of my nostalgia buttons i really like going and seeing just kind of the sights of the old world, that's very nice. Yesterday's quest was in the Grizzly Hills in Northrend, and we were told to go there and pick some flowers. So Grizzly Hills, first thing you do when you get there, turn your music on, full blast, and then pick those flowers, came back through the portal and gave them to somebody, got a bunch of love tokens, great. Once you come back through the love portal, uh, you can talk to Ning here, who has a quest for you. And the gift he's offering is relaxation. Hey, we love it. So you get the option, at least yesterday we got the option to choose between either taking a nap, eating candy, or going on vacation, which sounds pretty great. It seems like his quest has rotated again today to do something else that is nice and relaxing. So great, I love it. This guy really speaks to me. I'll just finish up by mentioning the Crown Chemical Company. They're the three guys you fight in Shadowfang Keep, and they're pretty simple. They haven't had their health values updated, it seems like, this year, so they went in there, or we went in there last night, and they had like one and a half million health, which, with Blessing of Fortitude and, uh, Blessing of Fortitude, Power Word Fortitude, with Power Word Fortitude and 
Fortifying Brew, I was able to touch a death them from like 100% health, which is pretty hilarious. They took very, very little time to complete. Now, Blizzard made a change last year to the heart-shaped box that they drop when you kill them for the first time each day on each character, and the intention was that the first one that you would get on your account, so like first character you do on your account, would have significantly increased chance of getting the rocket. The love rocket that everybody really wants from doing that fight. Uh, in my experience, you know, maybe it was substantially increased. Maybe they increased it by 100%. Uh, or 100 times. I, multiplying 0 times 100 is still 0. So, at least in my experience, I haven't gotten them out, so I'm still doing the event. They had said that their intention in doing this was to make it so that you wouldn't feel the obligation to run a million characters through the event, but if you still get a shot at it from running extra characters, and you do, and you want it, you kind of still have an obligation to run as many characters as it takes to finally get them out. So I don't really think it changed anything. And it's still the same fight as ever, but it is literally the same fight as it was last year. They haven't updated the health at all, so at least it's over really, really quickly, and that's a silver lining. All right, that's the Love is in the Air event. It's fun, it's cute, it's small, but I think it is a nice taste of things to come, and I really like this little design philosophy of giving us some old world stuff to go play around with and just kind of looking at places in WoW that we like and remember and kind of miss. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.